Now that you're able, using Akiba Backup Professional, to take regular automated backups on a daily basis, it's useful to know about the quota management that Akiba Backup offers. Akiba Backup Professional offers several different options for quota management. It's important to know that the quota management applies to the profile and only to the backups taken with that profile, not to all the backups. Select the profile you wish to use and click on configuration. Here you can see a reminder about which profile it is that you're using. If you scroll down till you reach quota management. There are several different options available to you for quota management. It's useful to know that if you hover over any of the text on the left, you'll get a pop-up explaining exactly what each option provides. Here we can enable maximum backup age quotas. If I select this, I can now define how many backups to keep on a daily basis. Here I am saying I want to keep all backups taken within the last 31 days. But don't delete the backup taken on the 20th day. Once a backup file is removed by the quota management, the record that a backup took place still exists. This field here sets the maximum number of obsolete records to keep. In other words, records of backups that took place where the backup file is no longer present. An alternative to setting up by the backup age is to set up based on physical size. If you enable the size quota, you could then set the quota in megabytes of the amount of disk space you want to use for your backups. For example, if I chose 256, that will mean that once I reach 256 megabytes of backup files, the older ones will be removed to provide space for the newer ones. This is useful if you have limited disk space. Alternatively, you may choose to enable the count quota. The count quota will keep a specified number of backups. As you can see, you can choose a predefined number or enter your own here. And finally, if you are using remote file storage, such as Amazon S3 or Dropbox, you need to enable the Enable Remote File Quotas option in order for the quota that you apply below to apply to that remote storage. I usually choose the remote file quota and the backup age of 31, so I keep the last 31 days of backups, but I keep the one from the 20th. If I save and close that, and now go to my Manage Backups, you can see exactly what's happened. Here we can see that an automated backup has taken place and the file has been stored remotely. It's taking place on a daily basis. As we scroll back, we can see that there's a backup kept for every day. until we reach the 21st, which is 31 days ago. This backup has been removed. The next backup on the 20th has been kept because I've told it to keep all the backups that are taken on the 20th of the month. Moving down, we can see all the rest have been removed until we reach the 20th of the previous month and that one has been kept. So with this configuration, I will end up with one backup per month plus the last 31 days of backups.